that's a neighbor's. So property line is maybe 10 feet, 12 feet from the driveway. It is all clapboard, all freshly painted. The chimney brick looks okay. Um, it needs a liner or if they're going to do gas because this is the chimney in question they could just do gas and have a direct vent right outside i don't think the kids really cared about having a wood burning fireplace um the sellers are saying they will not fix that um kitchen windows some work some don't i think i counted a total of seven of these older windows that are not functioning you know whether it came up in the report and they're just not telling us or not i don't know um, I think we're at the best case scenario, even though I know who the inspector was, is to have it reinspected. A uh, big two car garage. Um, I'll go inside in a minute, but I want to go around to the right side. It is on, uh, you know, older than dirt foundation, a stone foundation. And you'll be able to see that it kind of ended there. And when they rebuilt this, they cantilevered it out to make it a bigger garage. Sorry if I'm being a little jerky. But all vinyl siding, soffits up in the top and there's a nice loft. A lot of these trees. But again, they're strong, they're straight. So you can see they cantilevered out the back of the garage. It's gorgeous ground. So we're really only kind of showing you the two lots. The third lot in the back, I think it was Danvers Road Rear, is all wooded. So there's not much to see there. That's that would be the back lot. Okay. Back of the garage, newer windows, a little bit of under storage, and there's a small crawl space. Really nice garage, we'll go inside. But what you do wanna look at is the grounds are, are just gorgeous. So again, we're kind of facing the back lot. Now I'm facing the pond. Again, I believe the pond is on that second lot, the vacant lot to the left of the house. But they have a nice little walkway. I won't walk all the way through. I don't want this to be too long. Has, um, they cleared a spot to walk all the way around the pond. So you can just kind of walk in a circle. It's really very cool. Again, the grounds are beautiful. You know, they're not terrible at 409, but with a few things that we know are wrong that they're probably not gonna fix. I mean, even if we can get them just under 400 or up to 400, it would not be a bad deal. So there's their pond. It's very typical for, for the early fall foliage. And I guess they do have a, um, a little fountain head. They just don't have it on for us tonight. Not sure why this stoned um, and wooded little lot. I, I'm not sure what that that was all about. Maybe they just got tired of too much grass. We'll pan up to the back of the house, the screen porch. That's also cantilevered out, just on supports. They have a tiny little crawl space under the garage. I want to bring you up and show you that. And then I'm going to stop and go inside. Um, it does not appear, they said full inspections were done, but it does not appear that the septic was inspected because I see no evidence of digging. Um, so that is something I'm going to recommend strongly because the owners do not know how old that septic system is. And it's kind of weird when we go in the basement. It, it actually has a grinder pump, and I'm not sure why. Usually grinder pumps are for when there's no, it's a little... Just a little garden shed under the original. Kind of nice that they dug it out. Um, the septic tank should somewhere be off of this patio, just based on where the septic line is coming out. The plumbing line and main drain is coming out of the house. It's coming out of the house right to the left of that Bilco. And that's just a vent cap. So that's not the opening of the tank. Um, so it's got to be somewhere in here, and it I doesn't look like they dug anything. So that's going to be my recommendation. We do that first. And then the leech is probably down there. And we're going downhill, so again, I don't know why they need a grinder pump. Um, it looks like they should have plenty of, um, of gravity. Unless it's down here, but I don't see anything disturbed. Now, that's not where the pipe was coming out, so I don't think it's on this side. 
So I'm gonna bring you through the garage and then I'm gonna stop the video so it's not too long and I'll bring you in the house. This green porch is definitely three season. Um, they did put some stone down under, no real vapor barrier. So they're just gonna have to watch, you know, they're just gonna have to watch the floor underneath for rot. It seems to be fine now. This is an awesome garage. Let's see if I can hit the light. This is an awesome garage. They basically rebuilt this. Really high doors. I think they're standard width, but very high. And you can see this is all new lumber. They have to have $40,000, if not more, just in this garage. Nice poured concrete floor. And there is a little loft area. I won't go up there, but you can see where the plywood is. That's kind of a little open loft so they can use that for storage. The basement's kind of 180 year old, old crappy basement. So you're not gonna store much there, but this is beautiful. It's got four brand new windows, all new framing lumber, all new um, walls, not insulated. So it will keep the kids out of the snow. It's not gonna keep their cars warm. If they wanna do that, they would just have to insulate and put some kind of sheetrock up. And that would, uh, that would actually keep their cars warm. But great, great garage. So, Patty, I'm gonna bounce out now because I'm at nine minutes. I'm gonna start from the front door and go in and video that for you. Bye.